Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's continue on the topic buoyancy for week 7. Okay, this is the overview for the subtopic. So for today, we want to learn on equilibrium of floating bodies. Okay, this is the learning outcome that already mentioned in previous video. Okay, what is equilibrium of floating bodies? Okay, when a body in vertical equilibrium, the buoyant force will act through the center of buoyancy. So we have center of buoyancy. And another one is center of gravity where the weight of the body will be act. Okay, and then when it is a considered equilibrium means that buoyant force Fb is equal to W and act in the same straight line okay so we have we have straight line so to the above is fb and below is weight to below okay and then we have the center here okay the equilibrium of body may be stable it can be stable unstable or neutral okay uh, when we consider it is stable it is when uh, after given small displacement the bodies return to the equilibrium positions okay maksudnya bila ada sesuatu berlaku body tu akan balik kepada uh, keadaan asal or unst uh, for unstable means that uh, it can be collapsed or it remain in the displaced position. Maksudnya dia, dia tetap cengat ataupun uh, dia terbalik for ship. Okay, for a floating body such as ship, stability is very important. Okay, when we construct a ship, the main point that we need to be consider is the stability of the ship. Okay, so for examples of this one. Okay, let's say we have a ship and then uh, inside the ship we have 4%. And then suddenly they saw a big giant squid. So what happened to the ship? The ship akan jadi tidak stabil. Okay, why the ship is not stable? It is because all uh, person in the boat want to see the squid and berkumpul kat bahagian hadapan. Okay, when we consider the boat is stable. It is when the boat can back into the normal positions, then the boat can be considered as stable or the boat is in equilibrium positions. Okay, if, if the boat collapse means that it is not stable. Okay. Okay, then we uh, see the condition where the stability of Fully submerged body. Okay, this is the fully submerged body, fully submerged in the water. Okay, so the weight is at, at the center of gravity. So we have center of gravity here and we have the weight. Weight is mass time gravity and the unit is Newton. And then we have another center which is center of buoyancy where the buoyant force acts at center of buoyancy and it is in straight line for verticals and then when the fully submerged body is tilted saying it the center of buoyancy remains unchanged relative to the body okay why it is happen uh, like this uh, because it is immersed body so immersed body must be stable and there is no change of the locations of center of buoyancy okay you can see before tilt and after tilt, the center of buoyancy is still the same. 
So this means that the fully submerged body is stable. Another condition is when there is small angular displacement. So, kat sini ada a few change of angle. We have two conditions. If the center of gravity is below the center of buoyancy, so CB is upper, CG is below, means the body will tend to return to its equilibrium positions and we consider it as stable. Okay, what is the conditions of unstable? Unstable occur when the center of gravity above the center of buoyancy. Okay, we call it as overturning moment and the body uh, cannot return to its equilibrium positions and it can be collapsed. That means the fluid body or the body is not stable, unstable. Okay, we can see here when CG is above the CB. So when it's still, uh, they will collapse. Okay, then we see the stability of floating body for partially immersed. Okay, or partially submerged. The weight add to the center of gravity. So the same thing. And at center of, center of buoyancy, there is for, uh, buoyant force. Okay, so uh, this is the equation FB equals to W. And then weight is Newton, mg. Okay, then uh, the right side uh, photo shows that there is an angle that titles the object or titles the floating bodies. And the CG is still the same. And there is a change of CB. So it changed CB to change CB. Okay, the chalet ke atas. Okay, and then uh, the change uh, can be considered as X here. We have X. The length for changing of CB from its position. Okay, what is change when the stable bodies uh, displaced through an angle? Okay, it displays through an angle of theta. And then, uh, what is change? So, the change is the shape of the volume. So, what is change is the VD. Okay, so D is change. Change of VD because this is the volume for the floating bodies before displays. So, this is another VD after displays. Okay, then its center of gravity is still the same and the center of buoyancy move relatively to the body. Okay, so the CB also uh, move from CB to change of CB. Okay, then we see what is the difference of stable floating body or unstable floating body. Okay, since uh, buoyant force and weight are no longer in the same straight line, when the protein body is uh, changed or tilt, there is a turning moment proportional to work times uh, theta. So, when it's tilt, so we have the theta for stable point at the upper, and we can see there is an angle for unstable which in figure B, so figure B is when the floating body is displaced, we, which is uh, we have writing moment. And for figure D, we call, we call it as overturning moment. Okay, because for figure D, it, it is unstable. So this object can be collapsed and uh, or remain at it at this position. So we can see the difference when the object is considered unstable, you can see the height is longer. Okay, when it is uh, in uh, maybe a cylinder, 
it can be unstable and can be also stable. Okay, then how we measure the stability or determine the stability of floating body? We are actually using Meta Center, which is MC, and Meta Centric Height, represented by MV. Okay, let's see uh, what is Meta Center and where is the location. Meta Center is the point at which the line of actions of the upthrust buoyant force okay, cuts the original vertical through the center of gravity. Okay, it means that the meta center is the point that changes from the center of gravity. So we have a changes x times yeah, is, is equals to meta centric height times the tilt angle. Okay, the angle of tilt theta is small, and then so that uh, when we calculate it as trigonometry, sin uh, theta equals to tangent theta and equals to theta in radians. Okay, so for unstable conditions, we can see the MC here, the point MC is here. Okay, then we have MB. Okay, actually MC is the point. And MB is the length or distance that we calculated from change of CB to the point MC. We call it as MB. Okay, MB is actually the distance. And how we measure the distance from center of buoyancy to the metacentric, we calculated as I. I is second moment area and then VD is displaced volume of liquid. Okay, you have learned on uh, second moment area from the previous topic. So you can just adopt to this topic of buoyancy. So for example, second moment area for rectangle is AB cubed over 12, right? This is second moment area for rectangle. Okay, for example, for I. Okay, then we need to do a comparing for figure B and figure D just now. For stable and unstable, how we classify as stable and also unstable. So, if the metacentric MC lies above the CG, so when MC is above a CG, the writing moment occurred where W times the MB, length, length from CB to MC times theta. The equilibrium said that the floating body is stable and the MB is positive. Okay, so MB is the length here. Length from CB to MC is the MB. Okay, next, how to determine equilibrium is unstable? Is occur when the MC is below the CG. The locations of point MC Metacentrics is below the CG. The overturning moment occur where the weight times the MB times angles. And then the MB uh, is considered as negative. And the MC coincides with CG. The body is in neutral equilibrium. Okay, bila MC sama level dengan CG. Maksud dia, dia neutral. Okay, then how we solve problems related to stability. Okay, here goes the procedure for determining stability of floating body. First, determine the positions of floating body using buoyancy principle. This is uh, previously you learned on the Buoyant principle, which is Fb equals to W. 
and then you need to locate the CB and calculate the distance from the bottom of body CB. Okay, this one we call as YCB. Distance from the bottom of the body to the point CB. Point CB ialah point di mana buoyant force berlaku. Okay, then we need to determine or locate the CG. CG and calculate the distance from the bottom of the body to the CG. Okay, so you need to remember for buoyancy or stability, we are always measure from the bottom. Okay, different from previous uh, chapter that you learn, we need to measure from the surface. For example, pressure, we measure from the surface. But for buoyancy and stability, always from the bottom. Bottom. Okay, remember the word bottom. Okay, then another next step is calculate the second moment area by the water surface. Okay, this one can occur second moment area that immerse in the object. Okay, then uh, using the formula MB equals to second moment area divided by uh, displaced volume. Okay, then lastly, you need to calculate the distance from the bottom of the body to the MB. Okay, when we get uh, this one, we need to use formula YMC equals to YCB plus MB. Okay, and then we need to compare the YMC to the YCG. Okay, we need to compare this one and conclude that the floating bodies, either it is stable or unstable. Okay, let's uh, go to the example so that uh, you can increase your understanding on this topic. Okay, this question asks, a student has been conduct an experiment on the buoyant principles. A 1.25 meter long oak wood cylinder with specific gravity of 0 0.67 is used in this experiment as shown in the figure. So this amount of 0 0.67 is the specific gravity for the cylinder, for the object. Okay, not for the oil, not for the fluid. And then uh, where is uh, 1.25 meter? It is here. So, tinggi is 1.25 long. And given that the diameter is 0 0.5 meter, and the specific gravity of oil is 0 0.86, okay, SG converting to density. Always remember, it needs to be time 1000. Okay, predict what will happen to the oak if it it is placed vertically in all. So it is placed vertically in all. So we need to predict is it unstable or stable condition. Okay, so first step you need to follow for buoyancy. First step you need to draw the FBD. Okay, first is drawing the FBD. So this is the draw FB and you label as W, where is the W? And then you, you must know where is the center of buoyancy and also the length uh, from the bottom to the center of buoyancy. Okay, and then uh, the question gives you the specific gravity. So, of course, you have to convert it to density with times 1000. Okay, this is the second step. You need to make assumption that total uh, force verticals is equal to zero. Vertical force is equal to zero. And then FB equals to W. Okay, so what we can solve first that we have all the information is on the, on the volume of object. Okay, so this is the volume of object. Volume of full object. So, we use the volume for cylinder, pi d squared over 4 times h. 
Okay, this is full height, 1.25. And then you can calculate the W using formula rho G V object. Okay, just substitute the V object. And then we can know the weight. Okay, after we find the weight, uh, we need to calculate the F V uh, buoyant force, FB. Okay. Before that, we need to know what is the volume displaced. Okay, we have unknown here, H, because we don't know the high yang tenggelam. Berapa kedalaman yang tenggelam? It can be represented by H or you can write down as X. Okay, so FB, we have unknown. So, 1653.574 H. Okay, then we can substitute into the formula of FB equals to W to determine the unknown H. So, you get the H submerged depth is 0 0.974. Okay, and then the next, step, the next step is you need to find the YCB and also YCG. Okay. YCB is a uh, half from the H ataupun X. Okay. Uh, from the submerged depth for YCB. Okay. For YCG, it is, uh, if it is cylinder, it can be half also. So, it is half from the total length. From the total length is 1.25, right? So, YCG is half from the total length. Okay, and then we need to determine the MB. Before we calculate the MB using the formula, we need to find the I. Okay, I is actually the section cut by free surface. Okay, what means by that? Okay, so we have cylinder, for example. So, pandangan daripada atas. Kita akan nampak bentuk bulat. So, there is the section cut. We can see at circles. Okay, another example, we have cone. Right. So, we are not calculating the second moment area for the cone. Because from above, we can see only the circle. So, we use the second moment area for the circle. Which is pi d4 over 64. Okay, this is the second moment area for circle. We use the diameter given 0 0.5 because there is no change of change of diameter. Okay, because kita immerse sampai sini. So, kita akan nampak kat sini pun diameter yang sama. Okay, different from the cone. The cone diameter dia akan berubah. Dia jadi lebih kecil untuk cone. So, we need to change the diameter for cone. So, this question is cylinder. We can just use the diameter uh, given. Okay, then for VD, we can just substitute into the formula just now. How we find the VD? We just uh, put the H. So, we can get the VD. Then only we can use the formula for MB. So, the MB is 0 0.016 meter. Okay, then uh, the next step is calculating the YMC using this formula. YMC is length of bottom to the center of buoyancy, YCB. And another one is MB. MB is length from center of gravity to the MC, metacentric. Okay, times both length in meter. So, you get the YMC 0 0.0503. Okay, then only we can compare the YMC to the calculated or given YCG. Okay, so YCG is 0 0.625. YMC is Less than YCG. So, the oak will overturning when placed vertically. So, it is unstable. 
Okay, if YMC less than YCT, it is considered unstable. Okay, then let's uh, discuss on another examples, another floating bodies. So we have flat boat hull. The weight is given, so we don't need to calculate the weight. And then figure A is front side, front, and figure B is side view of the boat. Determine whether the boat is stable in water and find out the boat find out if the boat will boat the center of gravity is given so this is ycg we don't need to calculate the ycg and the length of the boat is 6 the width is 2.2 and the height is 1.2 Okay, let's go through the steps for determine stability of floating bodies. Okay, so the same step. First thing first, you need to draw the FBD. So we have the buoyant force here and also the weight. So we draw first the forces involved and then mark the given information, YCG, and we don't know the x the full length is 1.2 full height is 1.2 so this is the how the boat looks like so the length is 6 the b is maybe 2.2 and the h is 1.2 okay and then we need to do summation for vertical force is 0 and write down uh, buoyant force is equals to weight Okay, then we need to, weight is given, so we need to find the FB, but the VD, we don't know the uh, immerse length, berapa banyak yang tenggelam. So, for VD, we have unknown, so the buoyant force, uh, we have unknown. Here, we represent by X. Previous question, we use H, so better... I think you stick to one, we use X because we need to differentiate the immerse length X and the total high H. And then substitute into the formula of FB equals to W to find what is the X. So immerse depth is 1.004 meter. And next step, we need to find the YCB. YCB is half from the X. So this is X. Okay, then YCG is given. So we don't need to find YCG because it is given. And then we need to determine the MB. Before calculating the MB, we need to determine the second moment area I. So, I here we are using for rectangular and square, which is LB cube over, uh, over 12. So, the L just now is the length and the base is 2.2 to the power of 3. Okay, then we calculated the volume, substitute the X into the volume just now. And only we can know... Uh, what is the MB? So MB is 0 0.402 meter. Okay, then we determine the YMC using the formula of YCB plus the MB. Then only we can compare the YCG with the YMC. Okay, then YMC is larger than YCG. So, it is considered as stable. Okay, this one actually, uh, YCG is given. Or if it's uh, not given, you can just calculate it. Half from the H total length of the boot. Okay, this is a step. So, I hope you can uh, remember the step for determine uh, floating bodies. Okay, uh, then next examples. 
Okay, for question re related to floating body, you really need to understand on the uh, floating body itself. Okay, so we have a piece of cork that has been cut to take the shape as shown in the figure. And given that the specific weight is 2.36 kN per meter cube. Okay, specific weight is gamma. Specific weight is weight over volume. Okay, the cock is then put into the uh, fluid which is to pentin, which has a specific gravity of 0 0.67. So, the SD need, need to be converting to density times 1000. And determine whether or not the cock is stable or unstable. Okay, this is a little bit uh, different question from previously. Because we really need to determine uh, what is the uh, second moment area of it. Okay, for example, this one we have triangle, right? So, the immense object is until here. Okay, so this is the immense volume. Okay, from above, we cannot see the triangle. Because the immerse is only this one. So, from above, we only can see the rectangle. Okay, so the second moment area, we are using rectangle. Okay, first thing first, you have to draw the arrow for buoyant force and the weight. And then classify the information given. So, we have the length here. Uh, 0.6 and then uh, the high is 0 0.3 meter and then the length is 1.5 okay to the back to the back is 0. Uh, is 1.5 length okay and then we can use the tangent theta to know the angle of uh, the floating bodies so tangent uh, theta is 0 0.3 to 0 0.3 so we should know the angle here is 45 degree for the triangle okay then we need to calculate the vd so before we find the vd we need to Settle for A because VD time VD is area VD is equals to area times the length. Okay, so just now we are calculating for bigger triangles. So this one is smaller triangle at the bottom. So this is the picture that trapezium that we need to measure the volume. So now we are measuring the two smaller triangle at the side. So we have the angle 45. We just calculated just now. So tangent 45 is 1. So 1 equals to xy. So we can assume that y equals to x. Okay, then this is the formula for uh, area of trapeziums. So half above is z. We don't know the length above. And then we know that the bottom length is 0 0.6. So z plus the length below here is 0 0.6 times the high. The high also we don't know. It is unknown x. Okay, then we can uh, confirm that at the bottom width is 2y plus z. Okay, we have 2y. 2y is the side. This is y. This is y. Length of the triangle at side. Y. So we have 2y because it is on left and right. Plus the z, we get 0 0.6. So we can uh, know the z is represented by 0 0.6 minus 2y. Okay, so we already know that the x is equals to y. So we can change the y into the x. 
because we need to uh, make the unknown same. So equation 1 and equation 2, we have z and x. So we can substitute the z for equation 2 in equation 1 to find uh, the x. Okay, then we substitute equation 2 into equation 1 for area. And then we can get the area in terms of x. Then only we can substitute the area in the uh, formula of VD, volume displays. Area times the length. Length is given by 1.5. And we get the VD also in terms of x. So this is the third equation. And then we make assumptions of uh, force, vertical force is 0. And FB is actually equals to weight. Okay, for FB, we can calculate it using the formula of rho G VD. Okay, so for weight, actually, we calculate it from the formula of rho G V object. Okay, so V object. Or we can calculate it from using the specific weight. Specific weight is weight over volume okay so when we want to find the weight it is specific weight times volume so this is a specific weight given 2.36 times 10 to the power of 3 and this is the volume okay 0 0.5 times the base is 0 0.6 and the high is 0 0.3 and the length is 1.5 this is 0 0.5 because it is a prism so it is half and then only we can know what is the vd okay after we get the vd of course we can know the depth of emission x okay we can find the x Okay, then from equation 3, we can find the x. Solving the x, so the x is 0 0.045. For by using the x, we can know the YCB. YCB is half of x. And then uh, we also can find the YCG. YCG is, uh, for this one, it is one third because the shape is triangle. So triangles is one third from the bottom. The YCG is actually calculated one third from the bottom. So one third from the length of 0 0.3 from the high. Length, high 0 0.3. So YCG is 0 0.1. Okay, then uh, we can calculate the second moment area where uh, from above we can just see the shape is rectangle, so we use second moment area as LB cube over 12. So L is length, length is given by 1.5. And then we can find the Z. Okay, for the base, we need to know the Z. So we substitute for the Z, we get it 0.51 meter. And then only we can calculate the MB. MB is I divided by V. Okay, V is already calculated from here. V. And then uh, we find the YMC. We compare YMC to YCG. So, YMC is 0 0.467, which is uh, higher than YCG. Okay, YMC is higher than YCG. So, it is actually stable. Okay, the object is actually stable okay uh, for this one I need you to try by yourself 
Okay, just uh, the reminder, or oh, it's not the reminder, it's the clue to answer it. So, this is the cone. Okay, this is the cone. So, the second moment area is actually circles. Because from the above, we can see here is circle. And then, uh, we need to have a new diameter for VD. So, we calculate the VD, we need to find the new diameter. Because the diameter is become the diameter the immerse is smaller than the real diameter of the cone. Okay, so this is basically the answer. So you can check your answer based on that. Okay, let's try this. Okay, next is another example where you already done, which is cylinder. We already discussed. But what is the difference is the materials. So for this cylinder, we have two types of different materials, which is pine and below we have lead. Okay, and then given that the specific gravity of the pine is 0 0.5 and specific gravity for the lead is 11.3 need to determine the conditions of this combination is this combination is stable or not and then we need to find the depth of emissions uh, how how would the depth uh, if we combat if this combination of cylinder need to be placed in another liquid with a higher specific gravity so when we need to uh, immerse it in mercury, okay, not in oil because oil is the specific gravity is slower than water. Okay, then we need to justify the answer. Okay, then we need to convert the SG to the density. So this is the density for pine. We have density for seawater and also the density for land. Okay, first thing first, draw the FBD diagram. So we have buoyant force to the uptrust. And then we have two weight, which is weight of pine and weight, weight of lead. And then we have X. X is the depth of emissions. And the D is 0 0.61. So the D is still the same at the immersed part. Okay, and then we know the length of the pine and the length of the lead. Okay, then make assumptions total of vertical forces is 0. And then uh, we can make equations as uh, from these directions so we have FB minus because it is in different directions and uh, minus weight of pine minus weight of lead equals to zero and then make equation as uh, buoyant force equals to weight of pine plus weight of lead okay next we calculated weight of pine and weight of lead using the formula of weight equals to rho g v object so v object here uh, is pine and lead okay so this is weight for pine and this is weight for the lead okay then we can substitute into the formula f b equals to w and we can find the FP using the formula rho g v d where the density used is density of seawater and v d is remain unknown because we cannot calculate the x we don't know the type of emissions okay then we substitute the equations uh, 2 and 3 the weight of fine and weight of lead and equation 4 for the buoyant force into one equation so we have the vd remain unknown so we substitute this is the weight of pine 
width of length and then we get the VD is 1.173 meter cube. Then only we can find the depth of immersion X because we can use the volume of cylinder where it is pi d squared over 4. So the depth of immersion X is 4.014 meter. From this uh, length of depth immersion, we can calculate the YCB. So it is cylinder, we consider the YCB is half from the X. So we get 2.007. And then for second moment area, it is circle. Because from the above, we can see the object, the area is circle. Okay, then we can find the MB using the formula of I divided by VD. Okay, so we use the VD that we calculated previously. Okay, then we can calculate YMC using the formula. YMC is equal to YCB plus the MB. Okay, then YMC is 2.013 meter. So actually, we need to compare YMC to YCG. But our center of gravity here, we have different weight. So we need to calculate the YCG total. Okay, this is the method how we calculate the YCG total. Okay, we have y, uh, weight total times YCG total. So equals to weight of pine times YCG pine. Okay, untuk YCG pine, we need to add 0 0.5 because the pine is above. Okay, this is the uh, aluminium or this is the pine is above and then we have lead. Okay, so we have lead here. Lead is 0 0.15. So YCG must add uh, the above amount 0 0.15 and then half of this length. Half of this length. Okay, and then another YCG for lead, just half of the length. Okay, so half of the length, 0 0.15. Okay, then uh, the weight totals, uh, we can bring down. So we get the YCG is 1.559. So then we can compare to the YMC. So the conclusion is YMC is larger than YCG, so the object is stable. So the combinations of uh, lead and pine is stable. Okay, this is another example uh, that different from other examples which is it involve load so we need to consider the load here okay a cylindrical boy 1.8 meter diameter so this is cylinder with diameter given and weight is 10 kilo newton uh, the fluid is salt with density of 1025 kg per meter cube and the center of gravity is given by 0 0.45 so we can we no need to find the ycg because it is given and then if a load of 2 kN is placed on the top find the maximum height of center of gravity of this load Above the bottom, if the ball is to remain in a stable equilibrium. Okay, so YCG given is the YCG of the cylinder. So the question asks, uh, need, uh, asks the YCG for the load. So we need to find YCG for the load above. Okay, so YCG for this load. 
Okay, actually the this question is same as previous question because it has different weight. Okay, but previously we have different types of materials. So this one is different context of weight. Okay, so we have the weight for the load, weight 1. And then uh, weight 2, weight 2 is the weight for the load. And weight 1 is the weight of the cylinder that uh, terapung di atas uh, salt, salt water. Okay, so first thing first, draw the FBD. So the buoyant force uh, to the up thrust. And then we have two weight. And then we have the height of the cylinder 1.2. Then you can label the YCG because YCG for the cylinder is given. And then uh, the diameter 1.8. And then let's imagine how the question look like. So we have the YCG and then we need to find the YCG for load 2 kN. So that we can have uh, another 1 CG total. And also the X. The X is the depth of immersion we need to find first. Okay, then second step, you need to make assumption for vertical force is equal to 0. And then we come out with another equation, Fb minus weight 1 because it is in different directions, so minus. And also minus weight 2 equals to 0. And we can uh, make equation as Fb equals to weight 1 plus weight 2. Okay, so for this one, we have one unknown, which is Vd because we don't know the x. Okay, we can add the weight. Uh, 10 kilonewton change to newton times 1000 and then we can find the VD okay, VD is VD for cylinder so cylinder the volume is pi d squared over 4 times the high so the high here is x and then we can determine the x which is 0 0.469 meter Okay, right after you can find the X, you can just calculate the YCB. Okay, because it is the cylinder shape, so we can use half from the X. So half from the X, this is the Y, this is the YCB. Okay, and then for R, we are using the second moment area of circles, pi d to the power of 4 over 64. So from the I, we can calculate the MB. So must be remember, formula for MB is I over the VD. VD is, we just calculated VD previously. And we can substitute the uh, amount of X so we can know the VD. And then we can find the YMC. Still remember uh, how to find YMC. YMC is YCB plus the MB. YCB 0.234 plus 0.432. So this is the YMC. Okay, of course we need to compare YMC to the YCG total. Because uh, must be at minimum stable equilibrium condition. Okay, so we need to find the YCG2. For load 2 kN. Okay, so we consider here YCG total is the is YMC because y, uh, YMC is actually represent the minimum of the object to be stable. Okay, so here we are using YMC as YCG total and the weight total uh, is 12 times 10 to the power of 3. And then we have the weight for 1 and weight for 2 and YCG for cylinder is given and we need to find YCG2. YCG2 can be calculated as 1.7 for 6 meter. Okay, thank you. See you on next video.